Hello again. Hopefully this is the final episode of the Abelard Reuchlin story of the faking of the New Testament. Horsey GG Iconic Jokes for the Religious Fraud for 2000 Years. How does it link in <laughs> to the might of Rome? I now know it as the shite of Rome. It is absolutely tragic. The whole of it is a master plan to keep the genocides rolling along time after time. Let's play you a little bit with the Roman music until we remind you of this story that we're telling here. So Maximus is a joke about the Roman elites and the authors of the New Testament. Okay, <laughs> the music is lovely, written by Zimmer, and all of those jokes are shared. That's the Putnam jokes, the Zimmer jokes, and the Washington Post revealing the truth about the most villainous things that happen in our world. That for them in America is electoral fraud.
Right then, this is George Lee's again. Just to remind you that this is George Lee's, the equivalent of the slave in the Gladiator film. I'm determined to end it, and I'm the most likely person to end it. This is what I look like, okay? It is a series of massive crimes against the world's people, and I now totally understand all of them, and all of the propaganda that is released from all of the news agencies, and all of the toga-bearing senators in America, in Rome, and all of the Westminster Quislings who have sold our country. Right across the G8, they have sold our world into slavery. Right then, let's get back to the PDF which Abelard Reuchlin published back in the 1980s and it was available for three dollars a throw. It reveals the massive scandal that is Christianity and this is how far we had gotten. Okay, the tall pointed hat which is the Lord of the Rings joke. <laughs> yeah, that's that joke. The pointed hat is not in that image. It's the hat that Gandalf wears. It's the hat that the plague doctors wear and it's the hat that the wizards wear and I believe that now I am the equivalent of a wizard because I'm the most insightful man in the world and that inspires the gods and gives me mystical powers. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I don't want to brag about that because I'm totally dependent on the gods. I just keep telling the truth about world history. Okay? The tall pointed hat which medieval Jews were forced to wear was called the Cornatum, Cornutum, Pileum, because its initials were Calpurnius C. P. Piso. Okay, the true author of the New Testament, he's the man that we hear about all across the golf courses, all around the world, and the horsey link, yeah, which he saw in the Schindler's List movie is part of their icon because they are the Pisos and the word Hippos has got the Piso in the name and it's as trivial as that Calpurnius okay we keep telling you the stories let's now continue with how we can prove that the whole of the writing is in code and all of the messages are easy to interpret we're now on page 23 of that their document Okay, and you can find it on the front page of my website. Uh, you know, go to Faking the New Testament, look for that icon or that hyperlink to the True Authorship PDF by Abelard Reuchlin. Okay, the wandering Jew in Christian folklore, which is the man with the pointy hat, was named sometimes Joseph or Josephus. We've explained that issue in the four previous episodes. Uh, that we've made. Do you get it? Episode. The Piso name is in everything. Cartaphilus, for it contained the letters rearranged of Carl Pus. <laughs> yeah, remember that the true author is Calpurnius, and this name had the initials Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, J. Cartaphilus, and it also contained the rearranged letters of the name Arius. <laughs> okay? Cartaphilus. C. Nazi Joseph Goebbels in 1935 said, Jury must perish, has been our battle cry for the last 14 years. It's a numbers game. They're all the numerical code, and for them it's a massive joke, but for the war dead, it's a tragedy because that is all of the world's people's families <laughs> and the massive diasporas that send people all around the world after each war are equally tragic Point D When Hitler launched Kristallnacht the Nazis then announced that only 36 Jews had been killed and 36 injured It's a joke about the authorship of the Bible Okay read Encyclopedia Britannica on anti-semitism note it's its discussion of the fi fictional protocols of the learned elders of Zion reference 5 Britannica explains that supposedly those writings were based 
on secret Jewish meetings numbering either 24 or in some versions 27. These were Jesus, Josephus and Pliny. <laughs> F. On proving the true authorship is a fraud, the Ku Klux Klan's name was from the Greek kaklos, which meant a circle, and each of the three Ks in Greek was 20, and together they total 60, which is Calpurnius Piso. A recent Klan handbook has 27 pages. The original Klan, of course, was the Calpurnian Klan, of which the Pisos became the greatest family, and the Costa Concordia in Greek is KKK, and that's part of Michael Moore, my former twisted and criminal MPs companies in the P&O chain. Yeah, the Costa Concordia is a continuation of this 2,000 year old joke. <laughs> right then, the issue for the Jews is not whether Jesus was an imposter, nor whether or not... Oh, the sun's gone in. That could be because I'm headed towards my cider can. <laughs> okay? Cider is not a forbidden fruit if you make it from pear. But the plum issues get more sinister every time I look at them. Okay? The issue for the Jews is not whether Jesus was an imposter, nor whether or not he was framed. And if that were the issue, perhaps a Jew could rationalise and we are experts at rationalising why people have hated us for 1900 years ok the sun's gone in yet there is no need for hatred hatred or ethnic tension if we just take all of the stories away from <laughs> who the real gods are yet and all of it even the Jewish literature is written by really clever human beings and that's why the sun went in <laughs> rather the leaders of the world have always known that this was a fictional story so that's Christianity as well <laughs> with a fictional hero and fictional characters and they inf inflicted 1900 years of hatred and murder playing God because they knew their story that's now up to 2000 and 90 odd years <laughs> okay to accommodate that and that does not take in any of the Old Testament frauds and the stories about Jonah and the fucking whale it is a massive belly laugh that the whole world is drew, drawn into the Jewish nations or the Catholic nations or the Protestant nations and all of it is a means of killing the ordinary worshippers 1900 years of hatred and murder playing God because they knew their story was made up and therefore doubted God's very existence at all Piso's successor long accused the Jews of killing Jesus yeah? can you see how the hatred works and why it leads to war and genocide like you've just seen in the Kristallnacht movie but the bastards on every side are prepared to have a joke at it because the Rothschilds who run the wars are Jews yeah, and the people who sit on the horses know entirely the Christianity joke and the icon for false Christianity is the hippos or the horse yeah, hippos is Greek for horse and of continuing to reject him which was tantamount to killing him again he never lived and this is the story that Abelard Reichland tells so effectively when in fact Piso himself had killed him in his own story that's Jesus on the cock cock robin's death was self inflicted that's the cock crowing <laughs> yeah onto the myth of deicide the world's leaders which leads to the salvation of all sinner souls no matter how much genocide you commit yeah and everything that the people do beyond Jesus Christ is covered up by Jesus Christ's immense sacrifice and all of it is a joke and all of the pop bands that are released declare openly that it is a joke and all of the resurrection stories 
and the music of the pop bands right into 2014 are a full declaration that the whole thing is a fraud in every religion. The world's leaders had their poets and writers add such rather hateful lies against Jews as the slanderous accusation of host desecration, the blood libel, the wandering Jew fable, the well poisoners and more recently the international bankers. The Jew became to Christian folklore and the popular mind the embodiment of Satan, yeah, which is Santa twisted up. Okay, that's reference number six. Let's move down the page. I'm hoping that this will be the last part of this saga. This is the fifth episode now. And I'm going to go gently because the last time we did this. So the last word in that was Satan and it's page 23. Okay, and there is Satan. By painting the image of the Jew as evil and as cursed by God, the leaders were able to a explain why the Jews had rejected and killed Jesus and still then continued unwillingly to accept him, b explain why the Jews were still then being treated so badly, c have and utilize a convenient object on which to divert the satisfaction of their peoples. Okay. A German general being asked at Nuremberg trials how that's the Nuremberg trials where Whitney Houston is the inquest chair and his name sorry, where Houston Harris is sorry, where Whitney Harris is the chief investigator at the Nuremberg trials. That's the Harris name. All of the false news covers are a rationalization of the whole of this massive genocidal fairy story. A German general being asked at Nuremberg trials how the Holocaust events could have been permitted replied, I am of the opinion that when for years, for decades, the doctrine is preached that Jews are not even human, such an outcome is inevitable. The image of the Jews the Jew has somehow inherently evil persists still today. Sometimes it seems to exist even independent of its theological underpinnings because modern man no longer thinks only in theological terms. The haters have shifted the evil image so it today largely rests on conspiracy. Yeah, that is the Islamic menace now. Yeah, and the bringing down by terror of twin towers in the heart of heavily armed and heavily sophisticated America by people that were training in the desert with Bin Laden who's a friend of Cambridge University and goes shopping there all of the time instead of on deicide <laughs> okay so that's conspiracy rather than killing your messiah in a faked up story all of it is faked up by world leaders so they can continue to be world leaders. The wrongs real or imagined of a single Jew are imputed to allegedly conspiratorial Jews as a group. The concentration camp guards and SS, yeah, that's speculative society in Edinburgh, equally guilty. Their crimes are just as massive as the Nazis were. Yeah, and the Nazis are led by someone who's trained in Britain and everybody knows that now yeah, but they still keep telling lies to cover up all of their murderous past ok so that's SS who murdered Jews wore belt buckles which announced God is with us yeah the God is in a you know the gods are absolutely appalled by everything that happens on Kristallnacht everything that happens in the lead up to 1939 and all of the pan-continental switching of the leadership teams so that Beaverbrook's man Lord Haw -Ha, goes into Germany to become their propagandist all of it is totally driven by Gentiles, Jews, that's the Rothschilds and the Jews opted for that relatively late when the Christian nations had already been picked for their sins and had launched the massive 
2,000 year old fraud the Rothschilds were born into paganism but they opted to become Jews because they could then use the anti-semitic tool all of the time right through the war and they pick the inquest chairs and all of the people who launder the, the wealth from every nation as every nation gets brutalized okay God is with us and attended mass on Sunday and when they died they were buried under crosses Hitler had attended a Catholic school so this is Abelard Reuchlin revealing the scams of Christianity he does not understand that the Jewish scams are perpetrated by the money lenders that are the Rothschilds that Jesus in inverted commas warned us about the whole thing is a massive and really sophisticated profiteering exercise from start to finish and the gods are totally appalled for it by it because they have to look down on it see all of their power base being undermined and everything they do to try and keep us morally upstanding is ignored and laughed at okay Hitler had attended a Catholic school years later he would claim he was doing the church's work against the Jews nor has a single Nazi murderer and even Hitler ever been excommunicated we see now the villainy of all of the popes we see the villainy of the chief rabbi we see the villainy of all of the people that are involved in the Church of England the Church of Scotland and the money streams that ensue from all of them and that's why we have so many new denominations and missions in the Philippines and that's why God plasters L'Aquila Aquila in Italy with earthquake and the Philippines get the rainstorms and the tornadoes but no one thinks to blame all Christians or Catholics for the Holocaust nor should they do so <laughs> on the other hand Karl Marx has converted his father to Christianity at the age of six yeah that's Karl Marx who's referred to as the man goeth yeah <laughs> executes the woman the engineer that is trying to tell them that they're doing the building of the death camps wrongly she's executed in the name of the communist menace and Karl Marx himself and his doctrine is cited as the Nazi commander of the death camp uh, orders her shooting in the head okay <laughs> on the other hand Karl Marx was converted by his father to Christianity at the age of six was raised and schooled as a Christian and grew up to write vile things against Jews okay yet because so when you hear Goethe saying ah you're a Jew like Karl Marx himself even that is a lie yeah according to this story yeah but all of them are just stories and all of the inquests persecute the innocent and all of the villains are able to come into the viewers gallery at the inquests and watch the trial of their body double who's been brainwashed using centers like St. Petersburg or Tavistock mind control centers okay yet because he had been born a Jew Jews as a groups have been blamed for Karl Marx and com communism too the stories are totally twisted there is no logic in them thank you to the Austrian woman in Scotland or one of the Scottish islands for your logic and your capacity to tell the truth about what is happening to our innocent world and its natural things okay that's a trivial issue on beekeeping but for that simple woman and for me it is vitally important that she gets listened to and all of the simple activities that lead to sustainable life on the earth that God gave us need to be condoned because of their long gravity and their capacity to keep the world a decent and clean and ecologically beautiful place the Jews as a groups have been slandered as international communist as international bankers as re and recently as international Zionists yeah they're on the same side as Prince Charles and all of the Gentiles uh, 
in the fictional pro okay so that's a jump from page the earlier page hatred and suspicion of Jews still infect popular thinking everywhere to escape from it some Jews flee to the idealistic movements of others some to assimilation don't know what that is some even to self-hate they are oblivious to the great secret which supports the hostile climate although undreamed of by them the secret has always been known to the world's non-Jewish religious leadership and theologians as to Islam its holy book the Quran mentioned Jesus in 93 different verses places him in the line of prophets and mentioned him always as a historical person this is even though he was Piso's fictional creation all of those stories are a derivatization of the Christianity master plan okay and all of them are launched by the BBC news media who have secretly been given access to all of the training camps for everybody since bin Laden actually died of kidney failure way back when in 2001 <laughs> yeah that's in Islamabad God has a massive sense of humor and it's really dangerous to ignore the morality rules that have been planted in the Bible <laughs> and are always ignored in global conflicts the Quran Surah chapter XXV3 I don't know what that adds up to 25, 28 makes Pharaoh's Prime Minister at the time of Moses Haman Surah the third makes the husband of Mary Jesus' mother Imran Amran in the Bible Amran was actually Moses' father so do you see they're using the same techniques they've switched it from Egypt to Bethlehem Jesus is launched and now in the Quran we've got the pharaohs and all of those ancient myths being deployed again and the same names get converted to Islamic so Miriam, M and M, with the area thing in the middle, it's another twisted joke. Okay? Do you get it? Amran was actually Moses' father, and the M and M bit is so that the mum and the father become identifiable as the author of that chapter in the Christianity fraud, as the Roman emperors infiltrate the bedrooms and they shag the Pisa women, and that continues making the Pisos the fathers of the next emperor <laughs> and it's ever so clever and that becomes the M&M sweetie chain <laughs> everybody eats them without the vaguest insight again Surah X1X that makes I'm not sure what that means with X1X I thought that would be 21 but I don't know why they have 11 and then 10 <laughs> uh, makes Mary Jesus' mother, also the sister of Aaron. Yet yeah, Aaron in the Jewish story is the second chap is the Genesis chapter, and Aaron is the high priest of Israel, and he was forced to marry his sister to keep the integrity in their bloodline. Yeah, that becomes the Rothschilds and the monarchs in Queen Victoria's reign and that gives them syphilis and they're known as the blue bloods for that reason <laughs> okay who in fact was Moses' brother so Moses' brother right way back when we were given the rules and all of that stuff about the tribes leaving Israel and looking for the promised land with slaves in tow all around the world they c the whole of the religious story condones slavery it's totally indecent yeah and the whole of the civilized world now knows that but they still keep preaching it in the pulpit this confusion which made Jesus' mother also Moses' sister was if not inner circle hinting obviously erroneous however there are indications that the founders of Islam too had inner circle knowledge okay all of it is a stitch up so 
the inner circle is the Christianity fraud the Jews are not supposed to know about it there is no mention in this story of the Rothschilds despite everything that they did in every war and their Jewish affiliation okay so this is slightly twisted but the history of Christianity is knowingly told in this document and all of it is a serious joke against civilization, peace and the capacity to have a prosperous world. However, there are indications that the founders of Islam too had inner circle knowledge. There are 114 chapters in the Quran because 100 is Calpurnius Piso and 14 equals 60 which is also Calpurnius Piso. Yet there are three numbering systems that might be confusing of you for you until you look at episode 2 of the 5. B. Muhammad flies to heaven from a bridge. That's the Pontus joke. The Pont joke. <laughs> yeah, the three on the bridge in the Roman stories upon a fabulous animal described either as a winged mare or as an ass. Do you get that? In Pinocchio, all of the little boys get turned into asses and even the wooden <laughs> puppet that was Pinocchio who becomes a real living boy like God's son Jesus yet gets the tail and the ears of the ass in the end it's all a joke a mare is a female horse and the horse was an allusion to Piso and to Schindler do you get it? they have to turn away their heads from that I've still got the director numbers for the Schindlers in London in 2015. I can send any of you who want the details of that. The details of that, the ass was an allusion to Jesus and it's in the writings of Dickens in the David Copperfield movie on the top of the cliff where Auntie What's-Her-Name lives. <laughs> yeah, and the donkeys are not allowed to pass in front of that Gentile house because all of it is understood by the elites and Dickens and all of the great authors. <laughs> great is in inverted commas like the bullshit that they put out but it leads to world ownership and that's why we have so many of them. So the ass was an allusion to Jesus. See the Quran Surah 4 says that Jews did not crucify Jesus but rather the one who was represented for him in his likeness. <laughs> okay so this could be Saddam Hussein because it was his body double that they pretended to kill <laughs> okay D according to Arabs the beautiful names of God are 99 in number and there are 99 beads on the Muslim, Muslim rosary which are divided into three groups of 33 each I think that's the death age of Jesus and of Alexander the Great which is much more ancient like the Egyptian stories and the pharaohs. When the Catholic Church at Vatican II was debating to what degree it should exonerate the Jews of the charge of deicide, yet killing the God, yet the gods are perfectly capable of taking out the whole of the human race if they want to do that. And that might happen if the human race does not light up to the fact that they need to start understanding the rules and adhering to them. <laughs> I'm just getting the truth out, but there is the doomsday concept, and if the humans continue, the gods can create the universe, the gods can take planets out at their will, but because I know that the gods are good people and they are morally upstanding, they would find that a tragic thing to have to do to any of the... <laughs> creations that they make in their universe okay but the, if the immorality and the crime and the mass murder continues it's well within their scope yeah okay <laughs> the sun's gone in yeah I should not be putting thoughts into their mind's eye I do not understand it at all but I do know that they are driven by morality and decency for them is of the utmost importance it never comes through because of the human condition okay however there are indications that the Islam had inner circle knowledge 114 chapters 
all of the identification and the numerical codes for Calpurnius Piso. Muhammad flies to heaven, the ass was in the legion. So, the Quran Surah 4 says that the Jews did not crucify Jesus, but rather the one who was represented for him in his likeness. D. According to Arabs, the beautiful names of God are 99 in number, and there are 99 beads on who done that. When the Catholic Church at Vatican II was debating to what degree it should exonerate the Jews of the charge of deicide, President Nasser of Egypt, who was killed <laughs> by the elites that run the world for greed and the ownership of the world, sent to the church a manuscript argue, arguing against exoneration. The manuscript was 600 pages in length. That's the code for the Christian cross. <laughs> okay? As to the communists, Karl Marx was a student of Bruno Beer, which is a pseudonym for the Rothschilds when they were still in Ukraine. And the bears now read the Fox News and all of the people think that's really funny who are my friends on the Five News Agency and two of those used to be advisors and private secretaries to the American presidents who are all totally corrupted. So they know the bear joke is embedded in that and the bear companies that then become pharmaceutical magnets are a cover for that. <laughs> okay? Of Bruno Baer in a Berlin university, Baer was the only biblical scholar who ever openly wrote that the New Testament arose from the synthesis of the ideas of Seneca and Josephus. That's Arius Calpurnius Piso. <laughs> Although, for whatever reason, omitting mention of Josephus' father, he also believed correctly that Jesus was a creation by the composer of the Gospel of Mark. <laughs> Calpurnius Piso. Par, par, par. Right then. CP are the initials used for Calpurnius Piso for Communist Party. <laughs> yeah, the most hated concept in the world of politics. There are no communists. It's just a demonization project like Islam and the communists in China are all millionaires. They lead that continent by deceit because they've sold their country to the G8 and G20 countries. They are just quizlings and puppets like Pinocchio. Three C's and a P appear as the Cyrillic initials for USSR. Do you get it? The magnitude of it? This is world history written by fraudsters in Rome or Naples or Herculaneum or uh, I forget what the province is called. Pointedly, on the 60th anniversary of the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, 60 again, the author of the New Testament and the Quran and the bullshit demonization of these countries, that country sent greetings to the American people. It also mentioned in boasting of the accomplishments of Soviet medicine that a woman had been revived after appearing for 24 hours to have been dead and all of that is launched in the Washington Post as a threat to America's greatness like the space fucking race to steal the oil wealth from the world because the Russian scientists are actually underfunded and they're hard working so they discover that oil is a renewable surface sur uh, is a renewable substance deep within the earth's core and all of that has been published by Jeff Rents and by me. <laughs> and when Jeff Rents published it, it was then they launched a new Prime Minister in Italy called Renzi. <laughs> and that is how the world fails to work now. And that is why the expense at the forecourt is massive. And all of that is a scam against the people. Okay, that takes us again to Grangemouth, where the company is called Inus or Insus, and that is code for Jesus on the top of the Christian cross. Are you getting it? Today, some of our Jewish brethren 
who were formerly atheists have found Jesus. Okay, so they switch sides when the power base changes and they b become colours instead of the culled. <laughs> and they too have gone into, it's like the American Indians, you give them the guns or it's like the Hmong people in Vietnam who now live in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, which is why Minnesota is such an evil place because the people are full of conscience issues and they continue to cheat and kill and steal innocent children from innocent families. That's you, Amy. I'm going to try and help you as much as I possibly can. Okay? Have gone into the evangelism business and that is the people that are bugging Amy with their false morality. Messianic Judaism, the great balloon hoax of the 1970s. This is the air balloon hoax. Please watch Lily Allen's video, The Air Balloon all of the piezo menagerie are in it jesus is circulating the world still waiting to get home as a corpse nailed to the cross all of the pop singers are picked to cover up the story and to laugh at it and lily allen's output is particularly pathetic which is why she had issues with the health of her firstborn child the god reads the bible <coughs> And they understand <coughs> entirely how all of that works. Okay? Same story for the corrupted Prime Ministers Gordon Brown and David Cameron. They've had to bury their children really young because of their sins. And their crimes against their nation. Okay? So... Today, some of our Jewish brethren who were formerly atheists have found Jesus and they too have gone into the evangelism business, Messianic Judaism, the great balloon hoax of the 1970s. Yeah, do you remember that they were making movies about those magnificent men in their flying machines? When the man Motley Flint killed someone in a courtroom because his scam with the Bushes and the Warner Brothers had been revealed as a scam and a Ponzi scheme, you've got the huge launch of Motley and Mutley into the Magnificent Men in their Flying Machine movies and those Hanna-Barbera cartoons with Mutley the dog appearing like the Walt Disney output and all of Walt Disney is now run by the world's leadest, leading and largest Jewish corporation ok so things have changed since the 1970s Abelard may not know that because he's been taken out for his honesty Jews are being lured from their own religion by people for money and ego and because the enticers do not believe as Piso himself did not believe in God otherwise they could not peddle what they know is not true now if Piso was stupid enough not to believe in God when he released the New Testament in 79 AD and his villa was buried in lava then I do not believe that he was that stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do not believe in God. They know about God and what they've done is to undermine everything that they created. They've killed all of the pagans and they've despoiled all of the ecological issues all across our beautiful world and they have rendered so many species including the pagans extinct already otherwise they could not peddle what they know is not true <laughs> okay of course nothing contained herein nor herewith questions the religious belief nor sincerity expressed by any person or group whomsoever needless to say you should be careful with this information for the world does indeed need Jesus that is the Christian Bible and belief therein until that far day when mankind should have progressed to a higher level of conduct than anything in the foreseeable future until all the sons of Bezora that's the Begora Irish joke will call upon God's name Piso himself teased that there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden. 
that will not be known okay so the truth's outed now all you need to do is talk to your friends and relatives and every messianic religion is a fraud perhaps he was thinking of those verses actually intended as prophecies and which appear in the Hebrew scriptures the only real Bible yeah it's quite twisted the only humans can make it and when you read the story in the Old Testament about the whale and the swallowing of God and then you see that laughed at in the Pinocchio movie all of it is a joke about the gods that created our earth and our universe and it is really really sick okay so everything that is written is a joke and that is the joke that the pythons use all of the time that it's written the, the Jehovah's use it everybody uses it because of the power of scholarly appearances yeah, and the capacity to tell lies like that one <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it is really twisted that people are prepared to make value judgments about the merits of the various human religions that have been launched into our world and the veracity of some of them and the fraud of others <laughs> okay yeah I know there is a God and you will know that soon unless you start to obey the rules <laughs> okay right then so page 25 I believe this might be the last page so what did we we did we begin that sentence or is there a jump in the writings of Abelard okay perhaps he was thinking of those verses actually intended as prophecy and which appear in the Hebrew scriptures the only Bible foreseeable future so this is a new topic until all the sons of Bozor Bezora will call upon God's name Piso himself teased that there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be known Matthew 10:26. perhaps he was thinking of those verses actually intended as prophecies and which appear in the Hebrew scriptures the only Bible sorry that's we've done that already O Lord my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the nations shall come affliction God is already in control of pathology for all of the human race I don't know why they took such a big break in the 20th century where it looks as if the devil if there is one has been in control and all of those wars were allowed to happen without anything being thrown in their way but now I know the gods are awake and alive and well and are looking after all of the decent people and the good people yeah and all of the villains that run the world by the scam are now in a really dangerous place okay O oh Lord my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the nations shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth that's the four corner story <laughs> yeah and shall say surely our fathers the sun's coming pouring out now surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things wherein there is no profit yeah that's profit p-r-o-f-i-t shall a man make gods unto himself and they are no gods jeremiah 16 19 20 yeah sun's gone in again because that is the writings of the humans <laughs> thus saith the lord of hosts in those days it shall come to pass that ten men out of all the languages of the nations shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew saying we will go with you for we have heard that God is with you Zechariah 8.23 and the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord even them will I bring to my holy mountain that's Mount Zion okay and make them joyful in my house of prayer for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all of the nations Isaiah that's Israel that was created by brutalizing other countries around it and that is the end of the mythology launched in the Old Testament that the Jews are going to get their real 
promised land eventually but all of the original 12 tribes have already been culled as they sojourn around the world <laughs> yeah and it's only the super elites like the Rothschilds that are able with the help of the Balfours on whose farm I was born <laughs> to create the partitioning of Palestine and all of the eruptions in morality that that then leads to because the teams that are there to protest about that are there like the communists in China and everybody is paid to dismember the world's competence capability and prosperity so the super elites that write all of these stories and sponsor all of the propaganda are able to keep their ownership of the world and none of it is moral none of it allows democracy to run the countries all of which pretend to be democratic now including communism yeah massive places for the political gatherings all run by millionaires corrupted and twisted millionaires yeah but in the end all of them are run by the G20 leaders and all of their existence as slaves and puppets to that is dependent upon their capacity to take a buck to desert their country chapter 11 the truth makes free it is not incumbent upon you to finish the work yet you are not free to desist from it Perkai Avoth 2.21 I don't know how those citations work in the Jewish texts I'm going to ignore that just for a minute since Pisa's day each few centuries have seen repeated holocausts against Jews and herein possibly lies a meaning from the recent holocausts ok since Pisa's day each few centuries have seen repeated holocausts against Jews and herein possibly lies a meaning from the recent holocaust Jews can only be free of Pisa's story and of the anti-Semitism it has fostered when they acquire positive perception <laughs> the par word again insight into the creation of Christianity only with that knowledge can they effectively struggle against attempts to eliminate them physically by holocausts or spiritually by craftiness and guile so Abelard is an excellent historian but he fails to see the role of the money lenders that are the Rothschilds the assassination bureaus and the funders for every war and cull and revolution and religious martyrdom campaign that has ever happened yeah, since they had launched their brothers into all of the countries across the world took control of the breeding chambers for the monarchies and the emperors and all of a sudden the world is in private corporate hands that's the launch of the big banks do you see it? so Christianity is clever it is just the same in the Jewish nations that now survive ok and the Rothschilds emanated from one of the last regions to endorse Christianity that's the uh, Kivan region and that is the joke about what are we going to do about Kevin as Christianity sweeps in there that's a joke about someone who's psychiatrically unhinged and has to be treated in uh, an asylum yeah what are we going to do about Kivan the last bastion of paganism <laughs> take my word for it there is a God and that's who makes those trees out there wave around when you say something sensational about how the beautiful universe has been undermined by deviant humans who are prepared to kill even their own brothers and sisters or their wives to keep their power base or to desert their husbands in the name of the nation of the Jewish nation yeah yeah because every one of the Jewish wives is obligated all the Jews in the world are obligated to be part of their intel operation that is why there are so many cross married families that break down because they are obligated to be spies on behalf of the 12 tribes and the first chapter 
of that Bible. It's a massive fraud and it destabilizes the whole world everywhere that humans have now gone in the name of their one true God. <laughs> yeah, do you see it? Okay, so where do we get to? Only with that knowledge can they effectively struggle against attempts to eliminate them physically by holocausts or spiritually by craftiness and guile. So no mention of the Rothschilds and their genocide, gen genocides and all of the training camps and the mind control institutions that they have planted on this earth that means that even in an innocent marriage and a loving marriage you're there to monitor the activities of the other side. <laughs> yeah, and if you're a Jewess and you marry into a family that makes the family Jewish. Okay, the Chazal totaled the commandments at 613. They were willing to use 600 inconspicuously as part of the total, but they openly used the number 13. Do not think for a minute that I'm condoning the papacy or Justin Welby. They're equally twisted. That comes into the videos I will make in the next couple of days. Okay, that's all messianic religions are a massive fraud and a massive money stream and a crime against the world's innocence. <laughs> okay, they were willing to use 600 inconspicuously as part of the total. That's the code for the Christian cross. But they openly used the number 13 in order to show their delib deliberate rejection of 14 and of Piso, whom it represented. Commitment to Jewish survival has recently been wisely urged as the answer to the recent Holocaust and the 614th commandment. <laughs> yeah, can you see how complex it is? How everything in the kosher rules leads to people being confused and the links between Christianity and the kosher rules are absolutely unmissable. Yeah, the Hanukkah joke, the festival of lights, the Easter festival, all of them are based on the same twisted concept concepts you change the dates for some of the festivals around so that everybody has to go home at a different time every year or they lose their soul yeah they lose their place in the afterlife it's a total profiteering exercise on everybody's behalf but the pagans do not have a say now because their tongues get cut out <laughs> and but in the american story that's the american indians who cut the tongues out of their own races. Okay, let's get finished because we I want to make this the last of the series of five videos. But in addition, when Jews know and remember why this and all the other holocausts occurred, will this truth in the words of John eight three two in fact make them free free of Piso's story which has enslaved them as rivals less successful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, footnotes the writings of Flevate, so we finished, and that's why the rest of the is dedicated to the scholarly citations that Abelard uh, cites beyond this, okay? So, let's read the footnotes and see whether or not there are important revelations there. The writings of Flavius Josephus are available in most Christian bookstores. In the translation by William Whiston, yeah, which is now published by Craigle Publications, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49501. Christians respect Josephus because his writings contain the earliest non-New Testament mention of Jesus. Whiston's translation, Antiquities, XV3, 3 in brackets 3, Loeb Classical Library Translation, Antiquities, XV3, 63 to 64. Okay, Josephus's writings are also available in the more scholarly but more expensive nine small volume edition published by the Loeb Classic Library. The citations and quotations from the ancient writers herein are from the Loeb Classic Library editions of their works. These include Flavius Josephus, Pliny the Younger, Valerius Marshall, L. Aeneas Seneca, Virgil, Philo, Tacitus, Suetonius, Juvenal, Dio Cassius, Plutarch, Dio Christosom, 
Historia Augusta, Apostolic Fathers, the Loeb Classic Library are printed in England by William Heinemann, Limited, and distributed through co-publisher the Harvard University Press. That's the Boston bombing issue when people start telling the truth about religious fraud. Okay, Cambridge, Massachusetts, that's the Oxbridge, that is the Springer Spaniel publishing empire and the English translation of the Christian lies. These can be ordered through general bookstores. New Testament quotations are from the following editions. New American Standard Bible, New Testament Reference, Editions, Foundation Press Publications, the Lockman Foundation, La Habra, California. California is a joke in itself. Calvary <laughs> is the joke. Yeah. So C.A. Calvary Hill, that's the Cahill name that keeps popping up in the intel sector, in the red nose day scams, in the advisory scams to presidents and prime ministers. It is tragic. And to the Chipping Norton set, the interlinear Greek-English New Testament, the Nestle launch, that's a Swiss chocolate company, and I used to be in love with one of the employees, Jane Hales, whose name means Hales, but I doubt that she understands that. She was lovely. But I failed to win her heart. I'm doing a much more important job now. Okay, the Nestle Greek text with a literal English translation, second edition, Zondervan Publishing House, Grand Rapids. That's the falls and the waterfalls because of the geological and ecological happenings that the gods are capable of imposing. <laughs> yeah, every one of the great falls and every one of the Grand Rapids, every one of the earthquakes, every one of the volcanic eruptions reflects human behaviours. References to the Quran are to the English translation, yet yeah, I have not studied that bit yet, by George Sale, published by Frederick Warren and Co Limited, London, Imbl England, the whore in the Revelations chapter. <laughs> yeah, a massive epicentre for fraud, immune from the British Constitution since the Doomsday Book was written, and a massive fraud centre with a massive stock market and all sorts of scams incorporated in it, which is why they have to build the Thames barrier to protect themselves from the impending biblical floods. But they cannot do that where Christine Keeler lived because the Thames flooded all over those counties. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I've got a mate coming to visit me today uh, who actually played rugby with me when I got my concussion at Marlow, right beside the Thames, where they build houses that they know that are gonna they're gonna be flooded, but everybody is afflicted now with the property scams, the bubbles in the real estate empire in America. My friends in America are telling me that they have to pay backdated payments for the house that they lost several bubbles <laughs> back. Yeah, it is tragic. All of it is a massive series of financial services frauds in peacetime and in wartime. So I could stop there and you can read the stuff about the facts beyond that. The great secrets. So we've got footnotes on every one of those chapters and little explanatory terms and it keeps going on. So they explain the great secret. Yeah, we've got references let's look at the sounds, animals and illusions. Josephus had inserted in his Jewish war a tower he called a fiku, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, <laughs> where he said Jews had assembled only to flee on the advance of Cestius Gallus. The same sound a fiku in Aramaic meant you shall cast out, that's the diaspora, you send people out into the wilderness and that is the promise of the promised land and it takes 2,000 years and only the elites get there <laughs> and President uh, President, I forget the name of the President Peron no, no the Perons are in Argentina President 
in Israel. He's lived in Israel for all of his life. His elite relatives that are in Europe have massive mansions and those that are in Latin America have massive mansions as well. His name is Perez. <laughs> yeah? And that is the cow in Palestine joke. Yeah? Being worth <laughs> more than all of the life in the desert. Yeah, it's really, really amazing. It's really, really twisted that Winston Churchill is allowed to commit genocide in World War One at Gallipoli. He's disgraced for that. But by the time we get to World War Two, he's the Prime Minister again. Yeah, and all of it is a massive, massive joke. <laughs> and adding min to it, afikumin, happened to produce the same sound as the Greek afikumin a form of afikneomi which meant to arrive at and to come to and reach your promised land so that's the you're the man joke that is shared on every golf, golf course around the world another form appears as afiketo in Romans 1619 with the meaning came or has come abroad the family in the New Testament okay anti Nicene fathers yeah, the Nicene Creed is a massive joke and can you see it? The knights that say me. Yeah, it's all through the story and when Monty Pythons laugh at it you know that it is just a vicious joke and the tacit involvement and the citations of scholarly works like this it ties everybody into the fact that if it's a scholarly and deeply studied it must be true and all of the Jehovah's people that I know with the possible exception of the body double from the profiteering pharma my old boss at Welcome yeah, they are body doubles for everybody in the Jehovah's constituency the Murdochs are Belgian people <laughs> yeah, the woman that looks like the woman that got her throat cut is a local borders people and I admire the gods for doing that if it is indeed them that do it yeah but there are people from Northampton where Princess Diana was killed by the system and all of that is a joke about freedom and the joke about freedom fightings because Northampton was where Errol Flynn came from he was the first man in my lifetime to play the twisted role of Robin Hood who <laughs> steals from the rich and gives to the poor that never actually happened it's like the communist joke that I've just shared with you in that video okay and all of it goes back to ancient myths about people being brought up by wolves and wolverines and looking like sheep when they emerge from the story yeah that's innocent leaders <laughs> it's a concept that we have never yet experienced and people need to keep kissing frogs in the hope that someone will emerge who's prepared to be the Prince Charming <laughs> okay it is really really twisted and that becomes the burial ground for the world's tyrants that's Frogmore the joke Mrs Simpson is in there <laughs> okay there's the harp the Freemasonic laugh the creation of the church Dio Cassius so you get the launch of Cassius Clay then he becomes Muhammad Ali because all of that is a cover up for Dio Cassius yeah, in the first life and in the second afterlife he becomes uh, Muhammad Ali who is the massive friend of the empire upon which the sun will never set in India and Lord Liverpool and Lord McCartney of Liverpool and all of that becomes all of the jokes that I keep explaining to you okay there's the Stephanus citations you should read this carefully I don't have the time because I've already dedicated five videos to the whole of the fraud that is Christianity and I want you to understand that it's the most successful fraud in world history and it leads to millions of martyrs in every faith, denomination, creed and skin colour seven the creation of the church Dio Cassius Phoebe yet yeah, all of that is laughed at in Rabsi Nisbet 
Valerius Marshall, the Marshall joke, in the Mars Hill joke, a mountain from a molehill. Yeah, the little stories that were told in the Mithraeum and the underworld then become the world's dogma to save the whole of your souls and to send you to an afterlife that may not exist at all. I have no idea whether it, it but the fact that Fronto in Ignatius, yeah, can you see it? The Frodo jokes, New Testament, <laughs> yeah, in Ignatius. Ignatius never existed either. That is the Jesuit movement, the Benedictine movement, all of the 15 Benedictine and 16 Benedictine popes, the 15th and the 16th were involved in World War One, and the second one is a cover for that and all of that was revealed for me by the BBC and the Quislings there because they are run by Zionists too okay so take the whole of the fraud with a massive pinch of salt and therefore Pud Murray my friend on the river who's unfriended me on Facebook is the declaration that there is a Pud in the Bible and that's Pud Murray who gets the boat that he rows for the elites from England the Millers <laughs> yeah that's the bones to flower joke look at the Millers dad making his interview on telly and it's quite plain that the Millers even one generation back yeah want the numbers of the poor people down and Puddens <laughs> is a really poor person <laughs> yeah and he's unfriended me on Facebook because he doesn't understand my stories <laughs> okay right then uh, so y it just continues to shock yeah and all of it is ever so classical all of it is ever so historical I believe they paid for one of St Bede's Bibles that was taken into the library it's a really classy place at Durham yeah the theological school is huge all of it is a joke about religions that are fakes and the Bible that they bought a few years ago, I think it was paid, they paid £10 million for something that was hand painted by the slaves that become the monks and the nuns and all of it is a massive joke and the monks are a joke about the monkey and the fucking donkey and the little boys all becoming donkeys in the uh, Pinocchio story and when Pinocchio is asked to account for himself he just keeps citing a series of lies and his nose gets bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> and the one true God is inside the belly of the whale and they think that is hilarious in Italy and the Roman church <laughs> okay right then the proof that and so we've got more and more citations annals the Anna is a Jewish priestess and it is an island in the stream also sang about by Dolly Parton islands in the stream there is what we are yeah and that is all an interlocking joke <laughs> okay the annals of history the Jewish priestess <laughs> right then let's keep going uh, and here's the inner circle writers this is the one that will ring bells with many of you C.S. Lewis The Weight of Glory and Other Addresses Erdman's Publishing Grand Rapids Michigan again as well Nathan Nathan is one of the Rothschilds family that brutalizes the whole of the issuance of money issues uh, and takes that over triumphantly Malcolm He Thy Brother's Blood uh, I cannot see any really famous names oh Macropedia Karl Marx volume 11 page 549 so you've got multiple volumes because there are whole teams of people that write up the output from Enid Blyton from Shakespeare and they don't stop when that fictitious author stops publishing Enid Blyton lived her writing for children is inspirational it means that people have adventures yeah and all of the mythology of Egypt all of the mythology of the Minotaur 
in the underworld and those mysterious caves it becomes a childish adventure and then for the elites in the real inner circle in the papacy in the uh, monarchy in the presidency all of it becomes a joke for them and they have all of society's money in their private funds in or in their wardrobes <laughs> yeah or in their suitcases as they go on those flights around the world and when the planes go missing it's to cover the crimes of the illegitimate, illegitimate British monarchy and the methods they used to recover the narcotics that they launder all around the world and then they take from Afghanistan and Kurdistan using NATO's armies <laughs> okay so, I cannot see any of it. Oh, Albert Schweitzer, the quest of the historical Jews, the, the inner circle, the new Encyc Encyclopedia Britannica, Smith, Homer, W, Homer Smith, Homer Simpson is now the most influential human as a cartoon on our globe. The truth makes free Frankenheim Emil the Jewish return to history etc shocking books <laughs> okay and I'm not sure what this bit is quotations Pliny's letters as Silius Proculus and his son Cisinius Silvanus so it's turned from a mucky anus to a filthy rich silver anus <laughs> okay Josephus is the most diligent and greatest lover of truth of all writers. Isn't that an outlandish statement to make? Now that you know all of the evidence, his fidelity and his compass of learning are everywhere conspicuous. It sticks out like a bleeding sore thumb, yeah, or a hand that has been cut off because of sectarian <laughs> issues and the lack of trust between all of the rivals for the money stream which means that the Rothschilds who are not mentioned in any of this story perpetually sequester the global money stream and they get the numbers down ever so successfully and in reward for that the BBC and the Python team give them a shrubbery <laughs> right then and those shrubberies take you right into Skokie, Illinois and that is the usual suspect's joke okay what one man can invent another can discover said Holmes that's Sherlock Holmes the adventure of the dancing men so I've discovered it I've revealed it to you I do not want you to ignore it it's really dangerous for your children's welfare and they're already thousands of pounds in debt if they're students in the English system now Thank you to the Kiwis and the Americans that want your country to have their independence back and all of the people that are now speaking to me openly. <laughs> They're stunned by the news that I release and the news that I release is about <laughs> treason and mass murder and genocide of the troops that they pine for every Remembrance Day. And when the Anzacs hear that story, they're spirited enough to be shocked by it. And I saw the person blanch this morning, and I'm really grateful for your intrinsic decency. <laughs> and your links to decent people in Scottish sport, that's a generation that have almost disappeared already. <laughs> right then, Christians were never thought upon till Titus and Vespasian conquered us, the Jew of Malta written about by Christopher Marlowe Henry Fielding Edmund Spencer Robert Browning all of them getting the false news in Milton is the name for devil yeah that's Milton Waters and Chadwick and Milton is the man that plays the devil in that movie and I don't know what happened because the devil had his way right through the 20th century I get the impression that the world might be run like a board game and a hundred years is nothing for our gods. Yet yeah, we've gotten into the year 2015.